why doesn't my turbo system have an intercooler? And the answer is, it's a blow-through setup, so it does not need an intercooler. And here's why. It's all about how the air and the fuel mix together before entering the cylinder, you know, the atomization process. A blow-through setup, the air and the fuel have time to blend together before entering the cylinder because the fuel is sprayed at the top directly where the air comes into. So it has time to run down and cool off before entering the cylinder versus direct port EFI. On direct port EFI, the fuel is sprayed right on the top of the cylinder head, giving less time for the fuel and the air to blend together to cool off the air. So if the air is hotter, then the fuel and the air aren't sticking together and you're wasting fuel and your engine's gonna run poorly, you're going to lose horsepower and even worse. So that means you have to run an intercooler on your EFI setup if you want the results from your build. The blow-through setup, it can cool the fuel off 30 to 40 degrees before entering the cylinder. Blow-through systems typically referring to a carburetor with a forced induction system such as a turbo or a supercharger. So my car does have an EFI system, but because it sprays the fuel from the top like a carburetor would because it's a carb style EFI system, it is still considered a blow-through system. The way the injectors spray the fuel into the engine makes it a blow-through system. So me personally, I was wanting the efficiency of an EFI system with the benefits of a blow-through system, without the headaches of a carburetor and the capabilities of any pro tuner and racer, because this thing does data log. So that's why I'm not running an intercooler on my car. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to ask below and I'll do my best to answer it and even do research on the answers before I explain it to you. So that, that way we're extra thorough. Thank you guys for watching Hoodbilly Garage. My name's Gilk the Great. Catch you next time.